I'm going to share with you a very simple method on how to tie a tie. And I'm going to do it entirely from a first person point of view. Hi, I'm Defragmenter. Welcome to the channel. The knot we're going to be tying is the classic Windsor knot. To start off, you'll need to have your collar up and the tie around your neck. Now, if you want to save yourself a whole heap of time and frustration, here's a little secret that's very helpful to remember. The longer you make the wide end when you're starting out, the lower the tie will hang once you're finished. As a general rule, try to ensure the length of the wide end is about two thirds of the total length of the tie, and the thin end about one third. If you remember this up front, you're going to save yourself a ton of time later on. Okay, what you need to do now is cross each end over. The wide end goes on top and leave about this much on the narrow end. For most people, that'll be about four to six inches or 15 centimeters, roughly. Now, with your left hand, take the wide end of the tie, thread it through the back of this opening from behind and bring it all the way through. Now, again with your left hand, take the wide end of the tie and wrap it all the way around the back, like this. Switch hands. At this stage, the back of the tie should be facing outward. With the wide end, now in your right hand, thread it through the top of this opening. Now this is a good point to stop and see where things are at. This is how your tie should look at this stage. The back of the tie should be facing outward. And you should also be able to see this triangle here. In a few moments this is going to become the inside of your knot. If, for whatever reason, yours doesn't look like a triangle, try to mould and shape it into one before moving on to the next step. This will help ensure the final knot is the right shape, triangular rather than rectangular. Alright, here's where it all comes together. Take your left forefinger, put it on the knot like this, and leave it there. With your right hand, wrap the wide end around the knot, from right to left. and then grab it from behind. Leave your forefinger where it is. With your right hand, push the wide end through this opening again, from the bottom and up through the gap. Grab it on the other side and pull it through. Now, your forefinger has created a little tunnel. What you need to do is thread the tie down through this tunnel and then pull it through from the other side. Now all you need to do is adjust and tighten it, gradually pulling the knot up, alternating between the long end and the short end of the tie, shaping it as you go, until it's just how you want it to be, a nice symmetrical knot. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to see a demo from a front on angle, or if you'd like to learn how to tie a tie in less than 10 seconds, check out the links to my other videos down below. If you did find it helpful, please click on the round subscribe icon and let me know by hitting the like button. Thank you so much for watching.